Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. My name is Seishu, and I publish a, my blog is called Tiffin Box, and it's for inspiring photographers just like you. Now, uh, continuing our series for fo Inspire Photo Retreats, today's Inspire interview is with Heidi Hope, and she's a photographer based in Cranston, Rhode Island, not too far from where Inspire Photo Retreats is going to take place. Um, and she is a well, she's an infant and a baby photographer, right? And she is one of the best in the industry. She's oh, going to be you. coming to Inspire, and she's going to be talking, and she's going to be teaching there. So I wanted to talk to her a little bit about what she's going to be talking about and how, what her process was in getting her proposal accepted by Inspire. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. So, hey, listen, I've already given the 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 uh, the background in terms of what you do and where you're based but tell us a little bit more about how you got started in this business so uh, I actually was uh, I went to school for fine arts so I have a BFA in art education oh wow and in my first year teaching art I was in for maternity leave so I had to and this was at um, Dartmouth High School in Massachusetts if anybody's familiar with that so they have a great art program there and I had to teach black and white darkroom photography and I knew nothing about it. I had never taken a photography class. You couldn't really get in them unless you were a photo major. So if you know anything about teaching high school kids, they will eat you alive if you don't know what you're talking about. So I spent the whole summer in the darkroom learning black and white photography and processing film and all that good stuff um, to be able to teach it. And then uh, in I taught for about five, maybe almost six years before I had my first daughter. And in those years, I... I started to teach digital photography and then Photoshop and like every time I had to teach a new course, I would quickly try to learn the skills to be able to teach it. Um, so that's sort of how I started. And then when I had my first daughter, I was home on maternity leave. I took a year leave of absence to stay home with her. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll do a little photography on the side, kind of the way I think a lot of people get started in, in the business. And um, I, I, it took off really quickly because I specialized in newborns and it was sort of a newer industry at the time. There, this is going back almost eight years now. Wow. It just like wasn't as um, it it wasn't as big as it is now. And so just putting anything out there quickly got a following. Um, so that's sort of how Heidi Hope Photography started. Um, and now it's snowballed and now we're a full service studio and we offer all different types of sessions and stuff as we've grown and our client base has grown over the years. Fantastic. Now, you are also, obviously, with your background in having a BFA, you you are a teacher. You are a workshop a leader right now. I love and, it. And yes. you have workshops in your own studio right now, right? Yeah. So um, we host smaller in-person um, workshops, but and, and I also travel and speak a lot. But really, the heart of what I teach, I mean, I do teach photo technique, which I think is important. But um, I struggled so much because I really didn't plan this business in the beginning. It was sort of like, oh, I'm going to do it on the side. And it quickly overwhelmed our lives. And instead of spending more time with my kids, I was like never seeing them. And so the I feel like transforming your business is the place where I can really help people the most. That's what I'm so passionate. Even though I love to teach technique and art and your creative voice, I think that's all important. But I think that's what we all love to learn. So so art, artists and creatives gravitate towards that anyways, and we're going to learn that stuff anyways. So I try to really bring weave business through everything that I teach and that's what I'm teaching on and inspire too is just the importance of like that marriage of the art with the business because the business is the foundation that allows you to keep doing what you love that's fantastic I, I I'm so glad you you mentioned that and you said that because a lot of photographers will start with the the technique and the craft and just sort of linger there and forget the fact that you know they have to make a living you know yeah um, yes. and, and in terms of in terms of your teaching uh, I'd love to know if you don't mind sharing yeah. about your presentation at Inspire are you going to be talking about you know the, the age-old expression of balancing work and uh, life is that Definitely. something that you're going to be dealing with as well yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's a that's like an important thing in my journey. Oh, first I'm a Libra and that's our that's <laughs> Libra, that's our sign is balance. And I struggled so much with it in the beginning. And yeah. I think all people do, and especially if you're a parent, I mean all it doesn't matter what you're doing, everybody feels like there's not enough time in the day, right? Right. Um so but I really in the beginning, I was, it, it was like the two things, work and life, were fighting each other. You mm -hmm. know, it was like work was taking away from life or there wasn't enough, enough time to do everything that I wanted. And I and I think as entrepreneurs, like we're, we're so lucky to even do something that we love. How can we make everything that we do more enjoyable and not 
see them as opposing forces. Like how can work and life, that marriage be like a little bit more um, enjoyable and not so like they're fighting each other. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. I think what you're trying to get at is, uh, is being able to draw very concrete boundaries on what can take place and what cannot take place, uh, whether it's for business or for, for personal stuff, right? I mean, I, I'm assuming, uh, like right before we started recording, for instance, uh, the phone started to ring and you said, yeah. I, don't, I don't touch the phone during yeah. <laughs> business hours or whatever. I was like, okay, so, so you have somebody to take care of that. Yes. Uh, but that delineation from your role to somebody else's role is so critical. And I think that's, I think that's great. I, I think other photographers should really learn from that, uh, you know, being able to do what you are meant to do really well and then have somebody else take care of things that are on the the periphery of Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Right? So. And that is like a huge, huge thing that I talk about. And even if you don't have a staff, you, right. still, you can still do that within your business. Even if you're a one person show, yeah. there's still so many ways to like build a business that really focuses on your strengths or utilizes your strengths to the greatest. And, and that, that makes everything more enjoyable. It makes life easier and it makes doors open for you because you're really like on the path you're supposed to be on. I, so it's kind of accessing that or learning to examine that within yourself. You know, awesome. Talk, talk to us a little bit about uh, your experience with Inspire. This is your first year being at Inspire. The first year you even put a proposal in yes. and you got accepted. That's uh, first of all, a lot of photographers are probably thinking, wow, that's kind of cool. That's kind of lucky. You know, how did you do that? So what is it that you but perhaps you can you can impart some wisdom in terms of how uh, you went about putting your proposal together or what your proposal was really that really wowed the folks that inspired to go, we need to have Heidi Hope. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. First, I'm, I'm so excited to meet everybody and I'm really honored to be speaking. Um, I actually, so I've never been to inspire and I, so I teach these workshops out of my studio and I had a, a local group who I'm, I still love them and I'm still in close touch with them, but they had come in and they're like, you, have you ever been to inspire? It's going to be in Newport, Rhode Island next year. You've got to apply to speak. And I was, um, last year I was, I was pregnant with our third baby. I had him in October and I was like, oh, I'm going to be kind of just coming back from maternity leave. In fact, I'm a little bit limited because I'm, I still got him I'm still back and forth to see him during the day and everything. But, um, uh, they said, they were like, you, here's the link you have to apply, you know, cause they kind of know my message and my heart. And, um, and I, I, I'm so passionate about connecting with other photographers, but I really feel that it's a message that needs to be heard. And so even when I came up with the proposal, um, I think, I think really just my, it's like an, an honest, um, passion for it that comes through in like when I'm talking or when I'm writing about it or whatever. Um, so I, I feel really happy that it, you know, that I get to speak this year with you guys. And I'm so happy that it was Brooke who attended my workshop. I'm so happy that she pushed me to apply. And Yay, so, absolutely. Yes. That's fantastic. I love, I love stories like that where, you, you know, people are telling other people like, go check out Inspire, go check out Inspire. Cause I mean, that's how I think word is really spread about this wonderful conference. Um, uh, Heidi, one one last question for you. And I said, yeah. lastly, the last time I asked you this <laughs> question, okay. but this is really, truly the last question. Um, you know, as a business person, and you've been at this for at least eight years now, I think, uh, what, has, what have you seen in terms of the industry that's changed or is changing right now that people need to be aware of? Wow. Well, um, on, I would say focusing on babies, my specialty, but mm -hmm. even in child portraits in general, I'm, I do, we do not do weddings. That's the only thing. So I can't really speak to that. But sure. I think for for the baby industry um, and having a, a child photography studio, I do think the market is much more saturated. And I think a lot of people see that as a bad thing. But honestly, I really think it's a good thing because I feel like But when I started, it, yes, it was easy to differentiate myself from the market because there wasn't a lot of it going on. So that's a harder thing to do now. But um, nobody really knew about this type of photography either. Like, I just don't think people weren't having newborns and saying, I need to hire a professional photographer to document my newborn. That was, that was not really big then. And now it's so commonplace that everyone's looking for a photographer. And I think there's just such a greater market to draw from as long as you can figure out a way to be different from those around you and really stand out and be authentic. Um, so I see that, yeah, it's more saturated. It's, it's busier. I think your business matters more than ever. Your brand matters more than ever. Figuring out a way to be different matters more than ever. But um, so many people are so passionate about photography now. 
and and they also are willing to invest in it and I think in a different way because the newer the, sort of the millennial generation that's coming up and having kids now they value experience they value brands more even than the previous generation you well know? that's that's phenomenal I, I love that response from you thank you so much you. Um, we've just heard from Heidi Hope from Heidi Hope Photography in Cranston Rhode Island and she's gonna be presenting at Inspire Photo Retreats in a couple of weeks guys uh, come and check her out come and check her out her, her presentation is gonna be phenomenal it is gonna be about newborn babies and the business of ag yes. actually conduct having a newborn baby business uh, if you'd like to have any questions answered please post them below I'd love to have Heidi if you have time to come in and respond to them mm -hmm. uh, I know I know your time is very short and and given the the fact that you run a really busy business uh, that would be something else but if you can that'd be great thanks Absolutely. for joining us today bye bye <laughs>